concept of caring and protecting for our environment has long been introduced to us. By this time, mankind should have already resolved the compromised state we put our environment in. But why is it that as nations advance through with economic growth and development, the worse it becomes for Mother Nature? Is biodiversity and environmental conservation just mere words to some people? Back when I was in elementary, curious and eager to learn, I can recall our teacher acquainting us about the idea of environmental conservation and biodiversity and how we should value and protect nature and the life within it, stressing that failure to do so would cost us losing it in a few years. At that time, hearing those words did not faze me whatsoever, for I strongly believe that in those coming years, we would have flying cars that can take care of all our garbage, robots to extinguish forest fire, and a world where the environment is no longer in peril. Childish and fantasy filled as it may seem, but as a young lad, my faith in the advancements of mankind was firm, or so I thought. A few years later, instead of a safeguarded environment, our extensive burning of fossil fuel, pollution, overpopulation and deforestation brought us climate change, poor air quality, soil erosion, forest fires, and undrinkable water. Once again, we humans fail to see the bigger picture. Our vision is often hindered by our desire for unlimited economic growth. We push for limitless progress and development and chose to turn a blind eye towards how much human activities like urbanization and industrialization pull off of our limited resources. We forget that everything that supports life are interrelated. One is a part of the other, as nature is to all living things on Earth. The coexistence of both the diverse abiotic and biotic organisms are crucially dependent on each other. And this connection must be saved and conserved in order for us to prevent the annihilation of Mother Nature, the extinction of all those endangered species, and ultimately to provide viable resources for the years to come. This further brings us to the topic of species extinction. As of now, the extinction rate is far from what is expected of the natural rate. This imposes a great threat when it comes to the preservation of these rare wildlife and so does its role in maintaining a thriving and functional ecosystem. There is a myriad of ways we can accomplish this, but the most important thing to do is to protect these critical habitats that these rare wildlife live in from further exploitation. By doing this, we are giving these species a place to feed, take shelter, and raise their young ones. Above all, as we have seen in ancient civilizations, inordinately exploiting the resources that Mother Nature has to offer does not end well. The, the conservation and protection of our environment is in our hands. For as Moeth Agadi says, the environment is no one's property to destroy. It's everyone's responsibility to protect.